Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse News video, and it comes hot on the heels of the reveal of Aquaman 2 The Lost Kingdom. We finally got to see the long-awaited trailer, right? Looks pretty cool. I was a huge fan of Aquaman 1, and uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Just nonsense. Underwater nonsense. And that's what I'm all about when I see an Aquaman movie, right? Jason Momoa's back, Owlman's back, you kind of saw Amber Heard, she was in there, her face was kind of blurred out. You got a really cool looking Black Manta, right? He's got some cool Black Trident thing going on. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of, uh, lot of animals playing instruments and whatever else. It's crazy. It's nonsense, right? But we have some new toys to talk about, of course, in conjunction with this said movie. And as always, if you are interested in anything we're going to talk about today, I will have pre-order links down in the description below or as a new functional feature, right? They'll have target links that pop up on the screen. So thanks for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Oh, one more thing. My friends over at Warner Brothers, well, they gave me some PlayStation 5 Mortal Kombat 1 codes. I got two codes to give away, and if you stay through this video, I will tell you how to enter, right? But you gotta sit through the whole thing. It's part of the deal, okay? So, let's kick it off proper. Aquaman, of course, that's gonna be the first figure we talk about. Kind of cartoony, kind of Jason Momoa-ish. It's kind of in that borderline, right? Where maybe they didn't have the likeness rights, maybe they had to do their own thing. This point, I'm going to tell you honestly, I'm not always a huge fan of movie figures. Really liked Blue Beetle, right? I don't think that these look bad by any means. It just doesn't do a whole heck of a lot for me. I prefer comic book figures, right? More so than anything, but... That's a decent looking suit, which would look cool. You pop the head off, right? You get a comic book Aquaman and see how that goes. Especially with the vehicle that we're going to be talking about coming up. Now, this particular Aquaman, he's in his traditional orange and green duds, right? We haven't seen the movie, how it relates to the costume. It's all up in the air. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to get too heavily into like, well, that's off, that's off. I haven't seen the movie yet. We'll wait to see what happens. Comes with a trident, of course. A couple extra hands, nice to see. They got that card art going on again, for better or for worse. <laughs> By the way, for those of you who got the Batman and the and the Batmobile, right, and asking about the whole card, they confirmed it recently on Twitter. There was no card ever inserted I into that package. So you didn't miss it. It's not missing. You just never had one to begin with, all right? And Aquaman all packaged up. You get to see him, the greens... The oranges, the trident, not too bad, right? Not too shabby. This one, different take on Aquaman for me. You briefly saw this in the trailer. Every superhero these days, when they do these movies, they gotta have a stealth suit, right? Stealth suit Spider-Man, stealth suit Batman. I mean, that makes a little bit more sense. But stealth suit Aquaman? Honestly, this one doesn't do much for me. Hopefully he does something cool in it while he's on screen, right? That would make the figure a little bit more like, oh, okay, I see where you're going with this. Comes packaged with a trident as well. You get the collector card stand. Here he is all packaged up. This one, this one would be largely like, yeah, I'm good on this one. All right. Black Manta makes a return. He looks great. Loved him in Aquaman 1. Love the costume. Love this costume. This looks great. He's got that big, huge helmet to him. Big old Darth Vader helmet. Everything looks pretty solid on this figure, don't get me wrong, until you get around the midsection and he has that crotch pocket diaper thing going on, which, unless you have a belt, something to break it up, it just doesn't look right, right? Like, overall, the figure is like, oh, well, that's cool. He's got some jet packs. He's got that whole silver, the really nice silver, bright red eyes. He's got some effect pieces. That's cool. That all works in terms of what you think about with Black Manta, but it gets around that midsection where you're like, yeah, and I really do like the blue shading. I wish a lot more companies that deal with black costumed characters, how should I say, alien symbiote type characters could implement the little bit of the blue into the black, right? A little bit better. Anyways, here's everything that Black Manta comes with. You have a flight stand, or you should say underwater floaty stand, right? You got some effect pieces and nothing else, which is interesting because you would think that, you know, they, they, they point out in the movie, oh, he's got this new Black Trident. He doesn't have that Black Trident. Perhaps another character will have that said 
Black Trident. Here he is all packaged up. So again, if you want any of these so far, you can pre-order them down below. Oh, there's that Black Trident that they uh, were mentioning, right? So this is King Kordax. Everybody knows good old King Kordax. Kind of looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, right? It's little bits. <laughs> Does make for an interesting looking character though. I'll give him that all day. Spooky looking, right? But of course you're gonna need this guy if you want the black trident. Interesting to see how this will pan out. What's his whole story, right? See, that's the fun of toys. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to Star Wars especially, right? You have these new shows. They don't put out the figures now until like months later. But remember when they would put them out months in advance and you would spend the entire time looking at the aisle going like, what is this character going to do? That was fun. That wasn't spoilerish. We have no idea who these characters are. Seeing the characters doesn't spoil anything. This is interesting. This is cool. This gets me a little bit more hyped for the movie. I'm really interested to see what this character turns out to be. Hopefully it's not a Captain Phasma. Hopefully it's more of a Boba Fett, right? And I'm not talking about Book of Boba Fett. I mean like Return of the Jedi. Boba Fett. <laughs> Here's everything that King Kordax comes with. Black trident stand. Here he is all packaged up. You get the idea. Whatever the heck this seaweed monster creature king thing is. Hopefully he's pretty cool. Now, over on the Target end of things, there will be a gold label exclusive for Target. This is the well, let's just get to call it, for lack of a better term, Aquaman with octopus, right? Octopus. Stealth suit Aquaman with topo. That's his little talking octopus creature from the comic books. Looks a little bit different, but hey, glad he's in there. He's like a super intelligent octopus, right? Moving on. <laughs> Doesn't matter at this point. So a little bit of a different take. It's like a stealth venom, like Toy Biz stealth venom mid transformation. Or if you got the variant, you get the idea, right? So yeah, again, stealth suit number one didn't do much for me. If anything, the octopus is pretty cool. It's a nice accessory, though. Uh, it's not much to me. It's just like yeah, that that's cool. Glad it's a gold label exclusive. Doesn't really do a lot of damage to the old collection if uh, one doesn't acquire this. However, if you want to enhance your collection, especially comic book collectors, you finally are getting a seahorse for Aquaman to ride. This, this by far, to me, out of everything we're going to be talking about today, is pretty darn cool, I have to say. This thing rocks. A little Avatar-ish, right? <laughs> especially when you see him packaged up. But... I love the colors. The nail that he has a saddle. You can put an Aquaman figure on there, right? Well, at least you hope hope you can put an Aquaman figure. A lot of companies don't like to show you that you can like implement. Oh, wait. No, yeah, yeah. You can totally put Aquaman on this figure. That's pretty rad. So, overall, Storm, the battle seahorse, comes with a stand. That's a nice metal rod stand. That thing's not going anywhere. If it's anything like their other figures that they've released, utilizing that. Very nice to see. Totally stoked on Storm the Seahorse. By far the best thing out of the box. And until McFarlane really tackles an Aquaman that I find suitable to ride Storm, right? We have a Mattel Superpowers Aquaman that will be going on this guy. So very, very stoked overall for the Seahorse, we're just going to say. Now over on the Mega Figure type side of things again very interesting choice one that i'm stoked on because it's again it's it's doing something different but then you have to go I don't know, who's this character very interesting at the same time so this is <laughs> for lack of a, a better term it's just a pirate it's some underwater ruins pirates whatever you want to call it but uh, yeah, he's a fish monster. He looks like a puffer fish, piranhas type thing. Kind of looks like the deep. Remember when Mattel did their Aquamans when that movie came out, the first one? And they did the whole build the monster, the deep. Those are cool looking. That was a great scene. By the way, this is cool. It's a fish monster. Probably will look awesome fighting Aquaman. If he fights Aquaman, maybe he's a hero at the end of the day. Who knows? It's very Independence Day, right? Kind of Trendmasters looking. Something about the plastic. Let's just be honest with you. It it it's a cool design. Does it make it for something that I want? 
it remains to be seen. I kind of have to see this guy more in hand. But again, as far as a mega figure go, it looks cool, I guess. It's just kind of like, yeah, Sunken Citadel Pirate, there you go. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. All right, so you sat through all that nonsense. Now you want to win yourself a Mortal Kombat 1 code. Here's the deal. Number one, this is only for PlayStation 5, right? No other systems, PlayStation 5 codes only. I have two to give away. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hey, it's part of the deal. I don't think I'm asking too much for that. And simply to enter down in the comments below, tell me who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character. It could be any era, any iteration. It doesn't matter. So, PlayStation 5, enter now. Subscribe, do all that jazz. And thank you very much for watching. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Aquaman 2 Lost Kingdom Wave by McFarlane Toys. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Aquaman 2. And if you need any of the affiliate links, they're on the screen or they're down in the description below. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, in case they don't talk with you, have a fantastic weekend. Live it up. Just be safe out there. And hopefully, if you head over to a store, you'll find some cool toys. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.